In this tutorial, I'll show you guys how to install Symphony on a Windows-based PC through the command line. And it's a bit different than doing it on Linux, but it's not too tricky. And the first step is to go to git-scm.com and download git for Windows. So just click on the link down here. And after you've installed git on your computer, um, go over to github.com and download github for Windows. And when we do this, we're going to get a program called Git Bash. And installing Symfony through Git Bash is pretty easy. And that's what I'll show you guys how to do um, in this movie. So what we can do now is go over to uh, we can go over to Symfony's website actually. And I'm here under documentation and in their book. Click read the book here. And then I'm going to click on the third link, which is Installing and Configuring Symphony. And if we scroll down here, we'll see that the first step is to download Composer. So Composer is a dependency management library for PHP, which we can use to download the Symphony 2 Standard Edition. So what I'm going to do is just copy this line right here. And I'm going to open up Git Bash. And we can't use Control V in Git Bash, but we can click in the top left here and go paste. And that is going to paste that text in there. And then I'm going to press Enter. And right now it's downloading Composer. And we see that we successfully installed Composer. But we got one message here, which is the OpenSSL extension is missing which will reduce the security and stability of Composer. Um, if possible, you should enable it and recompile PHP with OpenSSL. So um, let's just try to uh, fix this. So what I'm going to do is um, open up my XAMPP control panel right here and go to config and then php.ini and I'm going to search for OpenSSL and we'll see that the extension is commented out right here so I'm just going to remove the semicolon in front of that to enable it I'm going to close this and then I'm going to restart Apache and now I'm going to come back to git bash here and press the up key to get my last command and try to install this again and we'll see that Composer was successfully installed here and we didn't get the message about OpenSSL so that has what it wants now and the next thing we can do is we can go um, back to Symphony's website here and we'll see that um, Composer is an executive file uh, which we can use to download the standard edition and when Composer in is installed it does um, put itself in your Windows path so when we're doing this, we're not going to need to do this PHP um, composer.far. We can just put composer here. So um, let's just copy this line right here. And I'm going to go back to git bash here. And I'm going to paste this in here. And at the end where it says 2.1.xdev, um, I'm going to change this to 2.7 because that's the latest version. And then before that we have the path on where we want to install this to and I'm going to change that to the correct path inside git bash you'll have to use um, you have to use a c and c uh, colon instead of just slash uh, just to get the absolute path there and then I'm going to put the path to my um, to my symphony folder that I want to create so hdoc slash projects slash let's just call this uh, symphony test and then I'm gonna keep going back here uh, we don't need to make any changes to this symphony slash framework standard edition and create project is the um, composer command we're running so we don't change that and we can remove the dot far from composer and we can also um, remove PHP and let's run that
and it's finished now so what we can do is we can go over to um, our projects folder right here and we'll see symphony test has been created and we have um, all of uh, symphony inside here um, the last thing I want to do is um, just version control this with git so if we go back to symphony's website here and we scroll down here and we see here using source control so we can click on this link right here how to create and store a symphony 2 project in git and let's click on that and it's got some instructions here for it how to um, version control with git so the first thing we want to do here is create a new file called .gitignore at the root of our project and it says next to the composer.json file and we're going to copy this and paste that in there so let's copy this stuff here and let's go over to our um, folder here and actually the .gitignore is already there so let's just um, edit this with notepad++ and I'm just going to delete this and paste in what they have there on the website and we can close that now and the next thing I want to do is copy app slash config slash parameters dot yml to parameters dot yml dot disk so this is just going to create another version of this file that we can hand off to other developers uh, because um, parameters dot yml is going to be hidden because that's going to have sensitive information about our database so we can first just go over to there under uh, I believe it's under app and then config and this parameters.yml I'm just going to control C here and then control V and I'm going to rename this dot dist save that yes so we can go over to git bash now and add it to our git repository so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to um, to our symphony folder here that was called symphony test and then I'm going to type git init if we go over here we will see the hidden git folder there then I'm going to add the files to the git repository and then I'm going to commit it and that's all we have to do to install Symphony through the command line on Windows and add to the Git repository.